Joe um, says, KJ5 LSO, here's my question. As a technician class, can I make DX to Europe on 20 watts with the right antenna? Uh, you can do it on 10 meters sideband, 15 mm -hmm. and 40 meters on um, CW. CW. Yeah. 20, 20 watts CW is, I don't, I've actually worked. Um, I have worked Europe. Yep. And you can year. do it. Yeah, and you can do um, 10. You can definitely get Europe on 10 meters with 20 watts mm -hmm. sideband when the band is open. We should say that when the band is open. Uh, mm -hmm. The 10 meter, as you will learn, the 10 meter band can be quite fickle. And it really depends upon what's, you know, what's happening with um, solar propagation. Uh, because it's, as we're, as we're at the peak of the sunspot cycle, you'll get 10 meter activity happens more and more, but also that's kind of a two edged sword right now because we're at the peak of the solar cycle and we're getting a lot of noise that's also kind of attenuating or blocking the 10 meter band. Right. So I work 10 meters with a, um, uh, I made, I built a 10 meter J pole style antenna. It's a half wave antenna. Um, I got a video on it. I should probably find that link and throw it into the chat. And last winter, when 10 meters was open reliably on a daily basis, I don't, I've, I, tons and tons of, of European contacts, 50 watts, 20 watts, QRP, five yeah. watts. Um, and that was in December, January, February, uh, when 10 meters was reliable, was reliably open. Now in the summer months, it's going to, 10 meters is going to be a little bit more hit or miss. You got to kind of watch, you know, we've had just a lot, so much, um, coronal mass ejections and other solar activity. We're going to be talking about solar activity in a few minutes. Um, it's just been making 10 meters a lot more challenging. Yep. You might, you could, um, you could, you know, if you don't talk, I don't know if you asked if you wanted to do phone, you could do 10 meter uh, FT8 digital. I bet you you'll, you'll get, you'll yep. easily get European contacts that way. But, yeah, um, uh, 10 meters, the best time to do 10 meters is in the early morning or late afternoon when the gray line's coming in or going out. Mm -hmm. um, I love uh, this winter, I just had 10 meters on and I was spinning around and all the JA stations that are coming in. Yeah. And when you hear Japan on 10 meters, go get them because you can work them all, you can work them for about an hour where the gray line comes in, but it's real fun because you'll work them barefoot. <laughs> and you'll be like, I just worked Japan barefoot. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, there's yeah. a lot you can do. Um, and don't be afraid of CW. Like I said, we've been talking about the C uh, Long Island CW Club. Uh, you mm -hmm. can get out at 15 and 40 with um, technician privileges and pound away all day on those bands too. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the summer months now, to get the gray line, you're going to have to wake up early, very, very early. early. Or um, be up late. But or be still, up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if I were, you know, four, you know, Four, four or five o'clock in the morning. Um, but um, here in the central time zone, if you're up at five o'clock in the morning, that's like one o'clock in the after one o'clock in the afternoon, oh, 11 o'clock, 11 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. for Europe. So good time, good time to catch them on 10 meters. Right. So uh, uh, Mr. Marconi is looking at my bench, I think. Uh, I think he eyes my twelve hundred no, S there. Oh, um, oh, okay. Oh, he saw yeah. the IFR in the background. Yep, he, sees the, <laughs> he didn't recognize the other IFR right next to it, which is the A seventy five fifty spectrum analyzer. Um, ah, ah. Both are a little long in the tooth, but um, the the service monitor, I think, has got to go get some help. Yeah, Jeez, yeah. Super, but the but the spectrum analyzer works real good, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so it sounds like 5 a.m. is not an, is not a problem. So and um, <laughs> yep. Hey, that's a that's uh, believe it or not. Sometimes the early birds do get the worm, right? Yep, yep. So that's it. In the 10 meter band, you're gonna you get you learn a lot about propagation, and um, you got to pay attention to those things if you really want to make those make those contacts. Yep. So go to it. But yeah, you can get you can get Europe on 10 when the band is open. 
KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpol-antenna.com.